Okay, good morning Clay people. How we doing? How are you doing? Today I'm gonna make um, some mugs that have a press molded feature in them. Um, I use bisque fired clay um, to make molds. Or I make use clay to make molds and I bisque fire them and then you can press clay into that and uh, make some beautiful stuff. So like in this case, I have um, a mold that I made out of a zipper and so I can just press clay into that zipper and I end up with a lovely zipper right so um, so I'm gonna throw a mug and I'm gonna press this zipper into the side of the mug zipper mugs uh, are something that you know I made as a demo many years ago to show this process to students and uh, suddenly everybody wanted a zipper mug. So anyway, um, here's another mold. I forget where I made this, but it was just something clay I pressed into uh, something and then I bisque fired it. And so now I have a mold that, that says, look, so I could put that in a mug or a pot or something also. Um, so here we go. Let's just throw a couple mugs. Um, the shape that I use that's ideal for this mug, I mean you can do a lot of different things, but I kind of go most often with my sort of classic coffee house mug shape. Um, this is a slight curve. And when I do this, I, I can't throw the mug quite as thin as I normally do, just because uh, when you're doing a press mold in it, you need to have at least a little substance to press into the mold. So I'm not gonna pull quite as thin as I normally do. I'm, I'm, I usually throw pretty thin for stuff like this. So I'm easing off here. I'm gonna take my, my little custom beaded foot tool here made out of a paint stick. Give it a nice beaded foot. And then I'm going to tool this so it's super clean and compressed. So metal rib, that way that surface will capture the, capture the zipper perfectly. Okay, how about a little... How about a little newspaper chamois on my lip? This is kind of a thick lip, but that's okay. I don't mind it. Soften my edge on my foot there. Okay. As long as I'm doing one, I might as well do a few more. I'm going to do one that's just 
a little more cylindrical, maybe. Maybe kind of a straight wall going up, but I'll angle it out just a touch. I was talking to one of my former students yesterday. We had a little FaceTime meeting. Mr. James Bester, who got a, a BFA in ceramics at Northern Michigan University, went up there to play football. Ended up with a, a degree in ceramics, makes some beautiful work, really cool face jugs. But James just moved out to Portland and he's setting up a studio out in Port Portland, Oregon. So he's called me and we were talking about kilns and other things you need for a studio. James is a unique person, full of life, not to mention he's like six, seven and 400 pounds, so he can really move some clay. Why did I bring James up? I forget why I brought James up, but I have a few different students who've gone on to do wonderful things in clay. Um, and James is one of them. Um, African American man who has got a big heart and a real creative spirit. Okay. There's another one. Oh, I think we got room for one more on this board. Maybe we'll try to just go a little taller. Now, before I can use the press mold on these mugs, I need to let them, I need to let them just dry just a little bit. The surface has to be not quite so tacky. Pretty thin down here, probably thinner than I wanted. That's okay. We'll make it work. I'm just gonna collar this in just a touch. See my thin spot down there, huh? There we go. Cleanly tooled. Dry, smooth, just what we need. to add 
a little zipper or something. Let's see, we'll use our newspaper chamois here. Oh, I might, as long as I'm at it. Get some of the slip out of the inside. Okay. Now. I think I'm going to put these in front of the fan for just maybe five minutes and then they'll be good enough that I can do the mold on them. Okay, people. Welcome back. Um, I had my mugs that I made for the press mold um, sitting in front of a fan for just a, a few minutes, you know, maybe 10 minutes tops. And we just have to take the tackiness off the surface so that it's dry enough to, to work the clay. But I also want it to release from the mold. Um, so these are dry, um, so this will work well. Um, I'm just going to start with, I'll start with this one. Here, let me just move this out of the way a little bit. And I usually work off the edge of a table. And then I'll take the zipper mug, and I, or the zipper mold, and I'm going to place it where I want it, and then I just have to press the clay from the inside into the mold. And then a little wiggle to get it off. And hopefully I can get a nice a nice impression. So that one worked out pretty good. Um, um, I'll show you a little trick. My, my mold, if you're going to do multiples, your mold starts to absorb water and um, it'll stick to the cup. So I'm getting out my blow dryer that I got at Goodwill for four bucks. I checked it out. It's powerful, hot, exactly what a potter needs. And I didn't have to I didn't have to spend a gazillion dollars. So if I just dry my mold for, you know, just a few seconds, it'll take off that moisture that it just absorbed from that last impression. Okay. We'll try another one. Um, I could do the look mold, but I'm not going to because I have people who want zipper cups, zipper mugs, and so zipper mugs it is. Um, once again, just try to get my placement. I hang the mug over the edge. And then very carefully, I'm just pressing the clay into the mold right along where the zipper is. And then a little wiggle, and it comes off. Another beautiful impression. Okay, that one turned out really good as well. Okay, so one more time. Now I'm just going to let these stiffen up a little bit more and then I'll put handles on them. So, 
zipper mugs, press mold, just using bisque fired clay. Um, I tell the story about um, when I was working on my MFA at the U University of Wisconsin Madison, I was doing a lot of sculptures that had molded surfaces pressed into bigger molds. I made a bunch of huge masks that were, um, I don't know, they were you know, two and a half feet tall. And the surface of the mask was a lot of press molded um, anything you can imagine. And I would drive around with um, a bag of clay in my car and um, a can of vegetable spray like, like Pam. And, so you could just go up to any surface. I would drive around and, and if I saw a really cool surface, like an old Civil War uh, tank, or, or not a tank, a, a cannon. There's one that I ran into and it was really cool. It had really great hinges and, and relief surfaces. And so I would just make a quick little slab, um, spray a little Pam on there, uh, press it in, pull it off, lay it flat, take it uh, to my kiln once it was dry and fire it up so I'd have a, another bisque fired mold. So I have boxes of bisque fired molds that have cool textures and uh, you name it, words, you know, keyholes, all kinds of things that you can use uh, as decorative elements in a pot or a mug, whatever. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, check back, more tutorials coming at Clay Class on YouTube. Okay. Let's make some handles. I have these three zipper mugs. And they're stiff enough that they could take a handle. So let's do this. Start out rolling a carrot. Let's see here. Figuring out where to put the handle on a zipper mug is always a challenge. Um, I usually go straight off to the side, but I guess a creature of habit. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Supporting on the inside. Should have re-needed this clay. I needed it a day ago or whatever. Okay. There we go. Nice zipper mode. Go for the big one. Maybe I'll go left handed on this one or facing away. <laughs> 